Hey everybody, this is David at Barnyard Bees. Got a new product to talk about. It's a vaporizer. It's oxalic acid vaporizer. And brand new out of the box. Okay, this right here is the carrying case. This is the vaporizer. Brand new out of the box. When you open it up, it has a warning that says the unit will turn off when the battery gets below 15 volts. 15 volts. So this is battery. This is completely cordless. Uh, no extension cords. It runs off of a set. This is a seven amp hour battery, lithium, uh, 20 volt. And of course, you know, the higher the hours, the longer it's going to last you. Uh, a battery like this, for example, uh, you could get probably close to 50. Just guessing about 50, which is a lot. And you can get these, of course, and higher. Camp hours. Okay, taking it out of the box. There's not a whole lot of parts. It's pretty straightforward and simple. I'm, I'm not want to make a real long, complicated video out of this because oxalic acid vaporizers. They're, the use of them is, is not complex. There's nothing hard about them. They're pretty much self-explanatory. They do have a set of instructions uh, and warnings. Uh, I recommend that you read all that. And it has this, of course your battery will hook up right here. You can, all, you can get these batteries pretty much anywhere. And if you have old tools, uh, a lot of them are, you know, of course, interchangeable. You can get, these come from Amazon, very cheap. They, it plugs in. Your display will start showing here in the back. It's a little bit windy out here. The part's blown away. This is the plunger here that you measure the amount of oxalic acid that you want going into your unit. It's very self-explanatory. It's got little markings on the side and each little mark is one gram until you get one, two, three, four grams of oxalic acid. And by screwing this out you will see the little mark right here move and then when you plunge that down into the oxalic acid it will it will stick in there up to that mark so you got one two three four depending on the size of your hive you know with a, a two-frame nuke you would absolutely go down to just one for five frame. None of this has to be precise to the point where anything's going to get harmed. Kind of keep that in mind too. It, it's all an educated guess when it comes to amount of bees with this. Uh, like I said, I would do one mark. I would do a two frame. Five frame, I would do two grams. Uh, if you go into a ten, ten frame, eight, ten frame, I would go up to a three. A double deep, I would go to four. That's how I would do that. It's it's that simple. And and it's just a simple screw on this right here. Hope that showed up there. I got my uh, tripod clip thing kind of hanging from a tree. I don't have anyone that can film. And that's how you measure this. Now, a little bit of talk. There's a lot of uh, people making the videos. And... 
The oxalic acid is intended for mites. The destruction of mites in your hive that will kill your colony, mostly through the winter. Uh, mite counts are pretty low in the spring. As the year goes on, they increase and increase, as do the hive beetles, diseases, and everything else that I've ever talked to in the videos that can destroy your hives. Beekeeping gets harder as you get towards more of the summer in the fall. I um, always recommend this stuff is harmless to the bees. You absolutely, absolutely, without a question, have to wear a mask. This stuff is bad for your lungs and it will choke you because I've been choked right before. And uh, you can get these respirator, these little cheapies at Lowe's, and just look and make sure it says, because they're rated, they're rated, and the cheaper you get, the less rated they are. Some may be just for dust, some may be just for smoke, and then some you get up into the uh, gas fumes, chemicals, and that's what you want to uh, get. And I can't detect a thing with this. So I've used it a lot, and breathing and that stuff coming across you because the wind changes, you don't know, and it does fine. It does just fine. Now, oxalic acid. Uh, a lot of you don't know, especially new beekeepers, because when I make my videos, I always try to point and remember and think back to the new beekeepers that may not even know what you're talking about to begin with, I'm talking about oxalic acid vaporizer and uh, oxalic acid. At the end of the video, they're, they're like, well, they made the tool, but what's it for? Okay, the treatment of mites is what it's for. Oxalic acid is wood bleach. It's basically wood bleach. You can get it online. You can get it at Home Depot, Lowe's. It's very inexpensive and cheap. It just, uh, it almost looks like sugar, like dirty sugar is what it looks like. So, uh, but it's for killing your mites. Now, a lot of the vaporizers in the past, and I was looking for one of the old ones, and I couldn't find it. It was one that had like a, a rod and a and a, a, a plate on the end. It was all made out of aluminum, and it the heater element plugged into a battery. You carried a 12 volt battery around with you, and you put like uh, one quarter teaspoon. We had like a little scoop. That was like a quarter of a teaspoon and you'd put in that vaporizer slide it in the hive plug the battery up put your mask on and wait and those things they didn't last very long a few treatments some people had better luck with them than others we had them use them two or three times and they burn up and other people would use them for the longest time uh, these things have come a long ways stainless steel and very strong very strongly made uh, the oxalic acid will eat up a lot of metals and plastics where this being stainless steel uh, you're good so I mean like I said they're, they're pretty simple ex explained you've got an off and on switch here flip it on and heat it up give it a chance to heat up load them it's just simple you put your battery in you turn it on it's got a, a Celsius reading and a Fahrenheit reading it, right now it's set on the Fahrenheit reading uh, you can uh, either 230 Celsius or 445 degrees Fahrenheit and it's set on the Fahrenheit but all you do you set it to your desired and then you just plunge that stuff down in there like that. It's that simple. It'll go, it'll stick. And I'll show you how it's. Oxalic acid is kind of like almost like wet sand, like wet uh, sugar, kind of. Uh, if you can see right here, see we got it set at the two. And see how it's holding out right here. And then when you get ready, just holds in there just like a plug 
But then inside the machine, when you push this down, see how it just pushed it out? And, and it's just simple as reload it again, reloading it. See how, how easy? It's, it's self-explanatory. It's very, very easy. Make sure your battery stays up. And you want to do that for every dose of your, your bee colony. The winter time is the worst time for mites. So, so what I do is I try to find when we're going to have the first frost or freeze when the bees may go in the cluster. And I'll back up a month from there and start doing a weekly treatment through that month. Let's say, let's say, no, it don't have to be exact. Say you're, uh, uh, you think the first frost or freeze is going to be November 1st or October 1st, depending on where you're at. Step back a month before that, start treating. Up until that point, the mites that are exposed, the mice that are still inside, protected in, in with the brood, cap, they oxalic acid can't touch them. Once a week, they're eventually going to hatch and it's going to hit them. You end up with, at the fourth week with pretty much mite free, and then when you get the freezer or frost, no more mites. They're gone. They won't be coming back in the hive anymore. So you're you're basically looking to go through the winter mite free. And there's really no such thing as mite free, but counts are very, 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 very low. So that, that's what I do. Uh, that's why if you get your vaporizer, try to get it sometime through, you know, between now and fall, and maybe test it, try it, see how it works for you that, you know, that you learn it. This, like I said, is self-explanatory. There's there's nothing more to it than flipping it on, waiting it on to heat up, plunge it down through there, stick it in here, stick this in. Some people drill a hole the same size and in the back of the colony, you can do that. Or just as simple, just to stick it. I'm not gonna demonstrate because it's, it's so uh, easy. You just you stick it in the, the front of the colony. It will stay there on its own. You push the plunger down. It will blow oxalic acid into it. And it's as simple as that. Okay, just a little demonstration to show you how these simply go in the colony. It's just as simple as that right there. See how they kind of, they just push up against. And that, 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 that's it. That's basically it. And then when you get ready, you just push the button. I don't have any uh, oxalic acid in it. Uh, I'm not going to treat. But it's once you get it loaded and you're heated up, watch your, you know, load, load your plunger up, push the button. It feeds into it. Pull it out. You're, you move on to your next one. It's simple as that. Very simple. Five frame. See how it just goes right up to it like that. Well, two framer. Same thing. Right up to it. Push the button. Push right in. I'm not even going to really hook the battery up to use it because there's really no point to because it's it's simple and uh, there's a lot of videos out there that show this. I just wanted to show you. The, the new unit and, and how it works and how simple it is and talk a little bit about mites that people understand why we treat in the first place so uh, now these here we have these at barnyard bees we, we are now a dealer for this company so I'll leave a link I'll leave a, a link in the description where you can go check these out and that's about it you know like i said it's important get your get your mask get your oxalic acid get you a good get you a good battery and remember the the amp hours the higher the amp hours the better now you know why we call it barnyard bees <laughs> anytime you turn on the video there's always clacking chickens or goats or geese yelling and yakking the geese up there have babies and they're grumpy and grouchy so it's going to be that's about it folks i'm telling you it's it's as simple 
as that. It's not, it's not a, we really don't have to draw this video out real long to explain it because it's self-explanatory. Uh, if you want to get a carry case, you can, now this sold separately, but you can buy this carry case, we, they, they sell it too. And uh, it just, you all silly. That's a vape riser. Sits inside like that with your batteries. You can see that. Close it up. Protect it. And it's as simple as that. Put it in, close it up. Good to go. Made very well. Highly recommend this. Highly recommend have. But that's about it. I'm going to shut up and and go to the website, barnyardbees.com. Check these out. And don't forget, folks, click on the little bell, like, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Barnyard Bees.